Praise the Lord, dear friend. Thomas Matthew the Fourth coming to you live with a special word about the peace of God. The Lord spoke to me just a moment ago about peace. I've been thinking about that all day, but really, but the Lord and past few days. But the Lord said to me clearly, uh, this is what I want you to speak to my people about. I want to release my spirit of peace. Uh, upon people. I want them to have peace. I want them to have peace. I want them to have peace. You need to have peace in your world. Oh my God. I'm just seeing if I wrote anything about that in this book. Did I do it? Ooh. I might have, yeah. Oh, just two keys. Let me give you. From my book, Prophetic Keys of Successful Living. I'm saying that fast because I'm in a hurry. You can still be in a hurry and have peace, you know. Doesn't mean you're slow and tired and all, you know, spaced and... Uh, you can have peace when you're busy. Peace when you're being productive. You need it. When you are walking with God, you can have peace in the midst of any storm. Woo, that's powerful. When you're walking with God in His presence, you can still have peace. Peace is not the absence of outer conflict, but it's the absence of inner conflict. Well, I want to add to that because... Those two keys from this book right here. I want to add to that because uh, you can have peace, a lack of peace, in your external world, in the environment. I've been really studying atmospheres and environments. I want to... that We could also uh, subtitle that this, you know... Subtitle this word here uh, on that. Atmospheres and environments. Very important. The atmosphere you produce determines the product you create. Well, it also works inversely. The atmosphere you create determines the product you produce more accurately. That way. So, you have to have peace. The blessing of Pentecost since we're in that season, I'll say this, is to have a, a life filled with the presence of God. You need to be in the glory. You need to be moving in the miraculous. You need to be uh, under the shadow of the Almighty. It doesn't just mean like I'm protected and, you know, I'm secure from some evil. It's more than that. It's more than that. More than that. More than that, the presence of God gives you power to create. The presence of God gives you power to produce. The presence of God gives you power to prosper. The presence of God attracts wealth, opportunities, good people, right situations. His, it releases his favor. His presence releases his favor, and his favor determines your prosperity. I want to say that again. It's worth repeating. It's so powerful. His presence, his anointing, and his presence releases his favor. And his favor produces your prosperity. How does it do that? Gives you opportunities, opens new doors, causes people to like you, causes people to be attracted to you, causes the right people to come your way. You connect up and you feel good and you connect. You know, we call it the divine connection, right? So... Uh, you being alone and frustrated and miserable and depressed and angry and rejected and wounded. Woo, that has to end in Jesus' name. I'm telling you what I know. God's healing is real. His power is real. If you have any of that nonsense on you, I break it right now in Jesus' name. Be delivered. Anger, rejection, fear. Oh. They're, they're, cous they're cousins in the demonic world. They're cousins. They're idiots. Evil idiots. Spirits of fear. And they're defeated. That's why we can call them that and get away with it. And get on with life. When you get rid of those jack you, you know what. They're cousins. Fear and anger. Rejection and depression and woundedness. That's not the portion for you, my friend. My God, I feel the anointing here. 
You need the power of heaven on your life. Whoever you are, even in, especially in the ministry. You know, there's great preachers that you can receive from this right now. You say, yeah, I'm fighting a battle. I'm gifted. Everybody knows my name. I have a church. I have a ministry. I preach to people. I minister to people. But you know what? You need to be more filled with his presence than you even are right now. You need to have more peace in your personal world, more than you even have right now. Yes. And I declare it over you in Jesus' name. What did Jesus say? My peace I give you, not as the world gives, but I leave it with you. Peace that passes all understanding. Remember the scripture said that? The peace is pe his peace that passes all understanding. You don't understand it. It's supernatural. It's so powerful. And without it, oh God, you can't do anything. God, I feel so touched about this. Without his peace and his presence, what can you even do? What can you even accomplish? You want to prosper, yeah. You want to be successful, yes. You want to have good relationships. You want to have the, those divine connections. You want to have favor. It all comes from the presence and the peace of God. The peace comes from his touch. Being in your spirit, in your mind, and in your atmosphere. Three levels. I need to add that probably to the next printing of that book. Or do another book about peace. Wouldn't that be a good book? Talk about peace? Someone said, well, I'll say it. I don't know who said it. Maybe unknown author or somebody said it years ago. I don't know who said it. Said, this, how can I become a multi-billionaire? If I could do this, would I become a multi-billionaire? Yes. You know what it would be? If you could possibly bottle, bottle, put it in bottles, peace. And call it peace. And call the soft drink peace. That when someone opens that and takes some of it and drinks some of it. I'm not talking about alcohol. I'm talking about non-alcoholic. Because that drunken stuff doesn't help you. It makes you stupid. 49 times in scripture the Bible calls uh, drink and, and wine and strong drink a mocker. Two times in scripture. One it says uh, they were, he was drinking the wine for the stomach. I don't do that. I don't need it. I was with some preachers in Europe. They like to drink beer and wine and all that. I don't touch that stuff at all. Don't want it. Never will. Not interested. It's not even a temptation to me. It's like, ugh, I don't even want it. I wouldn't even, I have no desire for it. I mean, when we got saved, we got delivered, completely delivered of all that kind of drinking, people drinking, all that. So I'm not talking about that. But if you had a soft drink, you just, you call it peace. Now, this is not possible, so I'm not giving away a secret because there's nothing <laughs> that you could bottle. You can't bottle spirit. The sp not spirit. You see the fake thing? You see that? I didn't plan to say that, but the Holy Ghost. You see how they call it this, the, the, the wine and spirits? They call it spirits. What is it? Try to alter your spiritual mood, but it also comes from the devil, which is spirits, yeah? But if you could bottle peace and sell it to the world, it would sell in the millions of bottles, countless millions, and you'd be a multi-billionaire, billions even. People could drink that and get peace. That's the biggest commodity today. People need peace. They don't have it. And you don't need to accept or tolerate any atmosphere that breaks your flow and breaks your peace. You need to break it in Jesus' name or break them into your mold or try to Correct the situation. You know, I've had people that I can talk to, and thank God they can be talked to. Some people can't. Some people, they have a problem, and you tell them something, they flip off on you. They fly the coop, they run away, they avoid it, they deny it. They act like, oh, it's your fault, or when something's their fault, it's your fault, or it's someone else's fault. No, you stop the blame game and get delivered. I love it when I can talk to someone. I can just tell them really the truth and they can take the truth and work on themselves. Isn't that awesome? Your ability to be corrected. Like to be advised, corrected, constructive criticism, constructive advice, you know? Learning from a person who's discerning. I like that. 
learning from a person who's discerning and discern something and see something, not some crazy, strange thing. People that some people that say they they use discernment, they're weird, or they get learn, figure out something in the natural or try to, and then they say that's like this. Oh, I'm discerning, and the Lord is showing me, or something like that. Shut up. Just shut up with that. If it's real, it'll produce good fruit. If it's not, it's just something that you picked up and you have some agenda to say it or do something with it or whatever. You know what I mean? You understand there's some split in that. There's a split. There's a line, a fine line in that. Some is bad, but the real discernment of the Holy Ghost will come to help someone's life. Wow. And when you could discern and like, you know, bring some correction and structure and advice and some deliverance to a person who's troubled by adversity and devils and then they get delivered what a glorious thing that is but what if you could never talk to them what if you can't say anything to them what if it's like anything you say is wrong to say it or oh, they're so burnt there's a kind of nickname i call them burnt lucy's that's a woman who's burnt burnt on men burnt on relationships or something like that burnt lucy you ever heard that I like that one. And people that don't have anything to do, I call them looky loos and looky loosies. A woman would be a looky loosey, a man would be a looky loo. Looking, 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 blinking, looking, trying to figure something out, get information, try to observe everybody else, and they don't even know what to do with their own world. Get a life, man. Grow up, become successful. It'll help you. So imagine you could tell somebody something that you're feeling and seeing that they, they may not be as aware of it. And then you could bust that thing and bust the devil and get them free and they become a great, a great and more productive person. Wow. That's the power of the Holy Ghost coming. So the power of the Holy Ghost will come to deliver you to do all these great things in your life. But you know what? You need to have his peace which comes from his presence. Oh my. And his joy, which comes from his presence. And then that touch of heavens upon your life. Now you can have your, you know what it does? It even works in your self-esteem. It works in your self-image. It works in your psyche and emotions and heart. He it be, it begins to give you um, greater results, greater impact. Greater productivity, greater uh, uh, realms of business, even finance, even prosperity. It all comes from that. But if your peace is disturbed, you know, it's a crime in America. This is a powerful message. Lord, thank you for this. Woo, the Holy Ghost is talking. I need to be on there every day, and I am. Woo, Lord Jesus. Trust you're getting blessed. Lift your hands right now and get ready for this. Are you ready for this? Da, 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 da. Here it comes. In America, there's a crime called disturbing the peace. <laughs> it might be in other countries too. They call it. They may call it by another funny, quirky saying, or descriptive, descriptive word, descriptive words about it. But in America, they call it disturbing the peace. It's a cr It's a crime. It's a crime. So the devil is the one who's the master criminal, the stupid criminal, who is disturbing people's peace. It's a crime. You judge him for it. Strike him for it. Cry to God. Get free. Get peace in your life. And remove anyone. Please. This is an admonition from the Lord. Remove anyone who's disturbing your peace. Disturbing the peace. Or correct them and let them get adjusted. Hopefully they can get delivered. If it's someone that there's hope for them to walk with you. I just was talking to a friend yesterday, someone who worked for me. And got so touched by the anointing, they went out into business and really prospered. They have several companies now. Yeah, powerful person. They worked for me. And that's what happens when people come my way. They get connected with this anointing. And you people as partners, you connect with this anointing by partnering with me. The same fire comes on you. 
and your life will be upgraded. I'm telling you. And they were talking to me about, you know, people, how they are. They have every, no one's perfect. Every, people have issues and try to work with people. Try to, and actually there was an offspring of that because I began to talk to, uh, anyway, I don't want to let the cat out, but talk to somebody and it's like they accept and they're, they're going to be all right. So some people can get molded into a greater realm of God's nature and that you can have peace by being in connection with them. We're all, we're, we are all a work in progress, believe you me. But let me tell you the word of the Lord. God does not want you uh, frustrated, angry, feeling rejected, wounded, hurt, sad, sorry, uh, a, a bad self-image image of yourself no he wants you to feel totally confident totally blessed and filled with his peace and that is the word of the Lord my peace I leave with you my peace I give you not as the world gives I give to you and his peace that passes all understanding I declare it right now I am Thomas Mountain the fourth you know me I'm your pastor I'm your mentor I'm your coach I'm your prophet I'm your teacher I'm your success strategist. I'm God's prophet to the nations. Yes. And I'm telling you, and I'm a friend to other people. If you're a peer in the ministry of the business world, I love you as a friend in God, fellow servant of Jesus. And I'm here to bless you, to be a blessing to people. Let the presence of God come as proof of this word here. Approved by me, approved by heaven. Because heaven brought it forth. And take it and be blessed in Jesus' name. Now, the word of the Lord is that God wants you to be have, filled with his peace, filled with his presence, filled with his passion, filled with his love, filled with his glory, filled with his life, filled with confidence. And you can have that today in Jesus' name. Strong, not insecure. Strong, not weak. Strong, not fearful. Strong and sound-minded, not fearful. Not tossed about with, uh, not angry because of demons that got to you somehow. Things that happen and you stayed like that. A lot of people walking around like that, very wounded. I pray and prophesy right now if it's affected you in any way, any of these things. Let God break those things off of you in Jesus' name. Let God break those things off of your life today. Day right now in Jesus' name. Amen. The peace of God be your portion in Jesus' name and be upon you. And that is the word of the Lord. I'm feeling it. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it to you as a word of victory that I'm walking in. That's the best thing about a good preacher. A good one, not these ones that are trying at it or want to want to being in the want to being realm. Someone that's anointed by God, chosen by God, yeah. And we all have our issues to get through, but when someone has the victory like I do, and I'm bringing it to you, my friend, wow. There's a tangible grace in he of heaven, a touch of the anointing of God upon this, uh, uh, through this word, and by his anointing that will touch you as you're listening. In Jesus' name. All right, my, my partners are receiving... This by ebook, either the laws of success or the benefits of excellence, you can take your choice. And as you're sowing a seed today, uh, the Lord spoke to me some days ago, I guess a week, a week ago, and about a week ago, yeah, and told me to sow a certain seed of $77. I saw in, cl in the clouds, I saw an open vision, seven and seven, and they came together, boom, like that. And I saw the number 77, and the Lord said to me, Look at this, son. Now, Revelation 5.12 talks about seven attributes of the power of God. Read those. Power, riches, blessing, honor, glory, wisdom, and might, strength. And coming together with us who want perfection. We want that seven, this number seven, the realm of perfection. And God's attributes along with us standing, needing, boom, together. And, he, and it was clear to me to sow it as a seed. And I did, and I'm telling you, within 24 hours, things begin to click and fl floodgates begin to open. I can't say details. 
and I'm running out of time here too in this broadcast. I want to get off here in a minute. But the Lord is uh, is doing such awesome things, and then I'll do it. I did it again yesterday, a week later, and I'll keep doing it. And there's an anointing on this. Now, I know, you know, you look at a number and you think, well, is that what is that? But God can speak, and it's real. So. Let the Lord speak to you. Whatever he wants you to do, someone could have a larger seed, your tithe, your offering, your, your partnership, your first fruit, uh, your thing for our world mission is fine. Could be a, a, a much larger amount or a different amount. You, 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 you obey God. But when you're sowing your seed, I want you to uh, ask for one of these books. Take your pick, Benefits of Excellence or Laws of Success, and I will send them to you as an e-copy. The Lord bless you. Many people are, uh, have responded to that, and we're sending them to you. Just hold on a minute. We're working on that. We're going to get them right out to you in Jesus' name. Even by WhatsApp, the file can come. So the WhatsApp number is plus 254-792-320-780. It'll be in the heading on this and on the comments. And you can, uh, you can just get in touch with me that way. And you can sow by Cash App, PayPal, thomasmanton.com, the website, or in Kenya, M Pesa. The push pay thing we'll do later, that text to text to give thing. I'm gonna set that up. And uh there's somebody asked me for my Zell Z E L L E. I'm like, okay. We'll get those other ones added to the list too. But uh the ones I've mentioned people use a lot. I don't want to talk so much about that, but just giving you the opportunity to connect and get blessed by the fire of God. You need to sow into something good, into an anointing, and it'll be released upon your finances. I did a two-part message yesterday and the day before on um, the Lord so spoke to me to prophesy into people's economy, money and resources and relationships and connections. And I've done that. You can avail yourself to that. And also prophesied on May 19th about this lockdown being broken, volume one and volume two. Make sure you watch that and share that with your friends. God spoke it in the time when it wasn't clear that the lockdown would end. Nobody really knew the day. Some people had predicted days, but they kept playing with those. So it was very, very, uh, a lot of unrest and a lot of unsurety. But the Lord spoke clearly. And now we see in the last, like, uh, 12 days or whatever since then, the Lord has been causing this reverberation to go around the world that this lockdown is ending. I prophesied it. The Lord used me. I am his prophet. I'm so th thrilled about that more than I can tell you. So the Lord bless you. I love you. I'm praying for you. And let his, let his peace be your portion. And I'll talk to you here on the next broadcast. Love you much.